the issues I've been looking at are mostly in sub-Saharan Africa, and um, my concern is that not enough attention has been given to sanitation in urban areas, essentially because this is a place that in the past 15 years had had one of the highest growth rates for sub-Saharan Africa, but absolutely no improvement in the access to improved sanitation. So if you look forward for the next 15 or 20 years, they're estimating that 400 million more people will be coming to cities. And these are cities which are already, uh, the majority of people live in slums without, and s only 40% have access to improved sanitation. So, and there doesn't seem to be uh, an extraordinary effort to change this. And so in that kind of context, I think we have a looming catastrophe on our hands. And so the question is both that sanitation is, uh, and somewhat over, um, overlooked in terms of the priorities. And then I think equally importantly is what are the instruments that can be used to address this problem? And so th my paper today, I'll, I'll try and discuss both of those issues. So in terms of sanitation, uh, I think an extremely important instrument and one that is not given sufficient attention um, uh, is the use of community groups to uh, collectively get together and to provide sanitation on a collective basis. I think this is important in the sense of why it's overlooked is uh, things like the social development gold goals do not even con consider this as improved sanitation. And I think most of Sub-Saharan Africa, this is the, the, the technique and the uh, instrument that has to be used or the, the issue cannot be addressed with anything like uh, the need, the levels of need that are being faced. In terms of local programs that are working to improve sanitation, one of the most uh, extraordinary ones that I've seen is uh, a group called Slum Dwellers International. Uh, this is an organization that's now in 34 countries around the world, a lot of sub-Saharan African countries. But what they do is they kind of quickly get together and bring a community to, to realize what are their, their own demands, how can they address those demands, and have community-led uh, activities that lead towards the use of shared facilities that address the, the, the sanitation issues, as well as many other issues. But the main thing is that this community organization, in effect, determines local demands and then mobilizes the people to address those demands. A, a very important issue, it seems to me, is how do the, the local governments function, particularly again in sub-Saharan Africa. And here I, I think you'll find that there hasn't been a lot of improvement in mobilization of resources at the local level, nor do they have the capability to use bond markets or to finance long-term capital. In terms of if you look at what happened in the 19th century when cities in the West developed their sewer systems, almost all of them could finance it and almost all of them received assistance from the central government. Neither of those things are occurring today and as a result the situation is deteriorating even as uh, economic growth continues. So in terms of how innovations in provision of sanitation, particularly in the uh, global south, work, I think it's important to realize that for the next generation or so, it's unlikely that citywide systems will be put in place. And so what are the alternatives? And for me, the single most important alternative is to work with community organizations that have shown that they can do this and have shown they have proof of concept in organizing this if they're given some assistance. So the, providing these facilities requires some subsidy, but careful subsidy, targeting of subsidy to community groups rather than to the central government is something that I think the multilateral institutions need to pay attention to and need to work with these community groups, not as organizations that are just lefty organizations that express demands, but as in many cases the only fiscal instrument that's available to address an, inc an incredibly important question.